nothing matters and I'm always tired. Also, I can't sleep. Have you heard of chronic fatigue syndrome or MECFS? It's a condition that causes extreme tiredness, muscle weakness, pain, and brain fog, among other symptoms. It's not just feeling a bit tired after a long day, but persistent fatigue that doesn't go away even after rest. And if someone with chronic fatigue tries to exercise, they will feel completely wiped out for days or even months to come. That's known as post-exertional malaise, and it is a hallmark symptom of CFS. And some patients suffering from long COVID show very similar symptoms to CFS. But why? What's the cause? We have several clues about what can cause CFS. Often, it occurs after a viral or bacterial infection, and it is believed that these viruses are causing a persistent infection, or chronic inflammation, or an autoimmune reaction, problems with how the body produces energy, brain damage, or hormonal imbalances. There are quite a few potential mechanisms. But if there is a virus that can actually be involved in all of these mechanisms, that's the SARS-CoV-2 virus. For example, during a COVID infection, SARS-CoV-2 seems to overwork the mitochondria to produce more energy, which in the long run may impair mitochondrial energy metabolism, decreasing the energy supply to meet the body's needs. The impaired immune system seen in some COVID patients may also end up damaging nerves in the central nervous system, leading to muscle fatigue and triggering prolonged immune and autoimmune responses. Many long haulers experience hormonal imbalances as well. In fact, many have lower levels of cortisol, which has also been linked to CFS patients. And there is also the chance that the COVID virus never left some people, which could be triggering an immune response that leads to CFS. Talking about the virus staying in our body hiding somewhere, there is an ongoing clinical trial using Paxlovid to remove any remnants of the virus with the hope that this would treat lung hauler symptoms. Genes play a role in CFS as well. For example, a study looking at variants of the ACE2 gene, the same gene that helps the SARS-CoV-2 virus enter cells, may make a person more prone to developing ME-CFS. I even found a study showing that SARS-CoV-2 can activate viruses known to trigger CFS. You see, we have viruses in our body that are waiting for a trigger or the right environment to become active again. And one of these viruses that SARS-CoV-2 can activate is the Epstein-Barr virus. The Epstein-Barr virus is found in 90% of the population and can trigger CFS. In summary, the COVID virus is an overachiever, trying to win an award for causing the most trouble. In the next video, I'll actually talk about the common biological or clinical markers in CFS patients. So stay tuned for that as it may help you and your physician look in the right places.